Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you guys some of the parts that I got back from the uh, coating company I was dealing with. Uh, this is actually the first time that I've had um, uh, any kind of coatings done on a transfer case. Um, I'll, uh, I'll get some parts out here in a little bit and that way you can see the before and after. I've got some spare parts that I can show you. And basically what I did is anything that was metal to metal, uh, I coated uh, in hopes to reduce a little bit of the friction, make things work a little bit smoother, and hopefully a little bit longer. Here you have two clutch drum springs. Uh, this is what uh, uh, keeps or helps your, uh, your clutches engage and disengage. Um, it's really hard to see, but there are actually some significant wear. Here's, here's a spot right there, spot there, spot there. And if you flip it over, same on the other side. You can see right there, right there. And that's because it's riding between two pieces of steel and, um, and really does get a lot of wear. And, it's, and it, can, it can get to the point where it breaks and then your clutches will, will, will cease to, to operate as designed. Um, this one here, this is the one I had Teflon coated. And um, although it's, it's not easy for you guys to see or, or to realize how much difference there is in resistance and the feel. Uh, when you push down on this one, you can feel the metal going metal to metal and this one here not I mean it's smooth okay this is the uh, inner drum shield and that that is what the spring that we just spoke about talk uh, rides in um, you can see here it's got some really really severe wear from the spring believe it or not and there's one of them I believe it's this one right here that it's almost wore through. You can see that it wouldn't have taken much longer. It probably would have wore through and caused all sorts of havoc. Um, now, this one here has been Teflon coated, or excuse me, not Teflon coated, PTFE coated, front and back. Spring's been coated. Okay, and that rides inside of your of your drum. Let's see if I can. This thing is kind of a tight fit. Not sure if I can get it in there easily, like so. This is your clutch bearing inner support. Uh, doesn't look like much, but it actually does a Pretty, uh, pretty heavy job. Uh, this is what uh, engages and disengages your clutches. Uh, so I mean, it has a lot of force pushing down onto it to engage those uh, those clutches. This is the uncoated. This is the coated. Like I said, there's a bearing. This thing gets pressed into a bearing. And then this is your apply plate, clutch apply plate. And it that the, the, the outside of the bearing, bearing goes inside of here. And it's just something like so. Like I said, this is what it gets pushed down and, and engages your clutches. Okay, here's the drum, clutch drum. And as you can see from the from the coating, the light, the lighter coating is the is what sh sheds the oil, and the darker coating is your PTFE. And it's coated here on the outside as well as on where the gear where the gear comes in at or sits. You can see the difference.
This is the control actuator lever. On the left is your coated. Right is the uncoated. Out of all the parts in this transfer case, this this surface right here takes a tremendous amount of pressure. If you if you'll think about it, this is what uh, uh, this is what your uh, your how your high low is selected, as well as um, how much or, or the uh, not how much, but the uh, it also activates your clutch. Um, and that and the uh, range fork assembly are the two are the two key parts that I see that I have seen a lot of wear. Um, let's see if I can show you here. Here's the range fork right there, and some of the parts, some of the springs, and. <clears throat> this piece right here, and I didn't have this coated, and I haven't polished it yet. I still have to clean this up and polish it out. I just, I just now, I got these uh, real nice uh, polishing pads uh, from Amazon that I'm going to use to polish this up. Um, and uh, I may do a video on that separately, I don't know. Um, but these parts interact and there's a lot of tension a lot of pressure on these parts now these parts have been teflon coated <clears throat> this sits in here like so and it slides back and forth and just like that and you want that action to be as smooth as possible off this is where the control actuator lever rides and um, I, I don't, you can kind of see it on this one where it got a little bit of wear there, a little bit of wear right there, but it slides on this pad constantly when you're shifting back and forth and it's trying to engage and engage. That rear sits like so, and it's just going back and forth. That's, when it's turning, it's doing this. Okay, and having this as slick as possible. Will definitely make that uh, make those shifts a lot more um, uh, a lot more efficient, should I say? Um, and hopefully, will will not uh, not get as much wear as I've seen on some of the other ones. I'll, let me see if I can find some of the other. Uh, I just happened to find it um, here. You can see it right there. There's a. It's it's hard to pick it up in the camera, but there is a big lip right there that has cut into there and right here. And I can promise you that that gearbox was having a hell of a time trying to get in and out of gear or, or go from high to low. As you can see, the, um, the lever has literally rubbed on that booger. Um, there's another one somewhere. I have another one somewhere that actually grooved it. And, and, and obviously you're, you're not going to engage and disengage very well when it's like this because it's really pushing hard against this steel plate. And when it has a lip that it has to overcome, it's not going to shift in and shift out of gear very well. Here's the uh, front output shaft coated and uncoated this is the um, this is the sprocket the chain sprocket coated uncoated and these are both they're both used gears or neither one of them are new and that goes for the shaft as well This is this shaft is what drives your uh, front differential. <clears throat> your gear sits in this sits here. This is the uh, what do they call that a reluctor? Um, it's where your speed sensor gets its signal from. This is where 
Here, another bearing sits. This is where your seal sits. This end here, this is what uh, sits in that blind hole that gives everybody a problem getting out. Right there. This is your main shaft. Coated, uncoated. As promised, um, this is that bracket. Uh, it's the uh, range fork bracket uh, that I'm going to clean up a little bit better. I'm going to smooth and smooth out all the edges and polish it up really good because I didn't have this Teflon coated. Because there is there's a bearing here. Um, it's got little needles in there, and I wasn't sure if the if the oven that they use to bake on the Teflon coat would 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 uh, 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 take that bearing out and I didn't want to risk it so um, I'm just going to polish this out I mean it's pretty smooth but I'm going to polish it out and uh, there's some burrs back here that from 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 uh, from where it was assembled previously uh, I'm going to you know polish that all out and I'm going to use these pads to do it uh, I bought these on uh, Amazon I think for like 25 bucks um, uh, and uh, don't ask me what the driver cost. It's a, anyway, it only takes like a quarter turn to get them on and off. Uh, and they stay in place, unlike the hook and loop. I don't like the hook and loop. I, we, we had them at work and we tried them and they, 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 would, they would come off, plain and simple. These don't. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, unveiling of the PTFE coated transfer case parts. If you liked it, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Please subscribe. We're going to be doing the reassembly process here shortly. Uh, and after that, uh, we're going to be installing it in the 2003 Z71 Suburban. It's got 210,000 miles on it. Still running strong. It's got some issues, uh, but I hope to correct them in the future. And I hope you'll be around to watch us do it. Thank you.